Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to episode eight of Omno. Um, we are back here again today to carry on with our adventures in this land. So last episode, we did the first section of what I'm going to call the high fantasy region of the game. Uh, there have been different regions throughout. We started in the forest, then we went to the snow caps, and then the desert, and now we are in the high fantasy, like, uh, sky realm. So, yeah. But here we are today. We're going to carry on from this point. Uh, I totally didn't accidentally already show off this area in the last episode, unknowingly. Uh, so this is first look, never before seen footage in this series coming at you right now. After we walk up this hill, but uh, let's get right into it. All jokes, puns, and cringy comments aside and see what's going on here. So uh, here it is. We have a checkpoint. And this area is the Pol Yang Heights. Alrighty. So this one, uh, look, I, I'm really liking that kind of like obelisk type thing I'm seeing over there. That, uh, that structure, that monument. Monument, I think, is the word I'm looking for. Here we go. So there's some balloon type thingies right there. We got some little flyboys that look new. Uh, looks like there's some new creatures to uh, discover in this area, so we'll be sure to get our entries on those. Um, up until this point, I think we haven't missed any yet, so uh, we're doing pretty well on that. And I think we have all glyphs so far. Um, let me just confirm that so I'm not a liar. Yes, we have confirmed all glyphs up until this point. So uh, what's up with these guys? Bluvari? <laughs> oh my god, you like pop them and then they like squeak down to the ground. <laughs> that's such a that's such a funny design for those that they make like a little balloon like it's not a squelching noise. What is that noise that they're making? Like a like a squeal, a squeak? A hype, a, a, a screech. It's kind of like a screech that they make, when they, <laughs> as if the air is coming out of them. Oh man, I find that funny. All right, how do we get those guys? We can get the. So what is the? Let's see what the um the info is on these guys as well. The blue varus, widely respected for their beauty, produces a gas which they emit when overstimulated. Oh. That is awkward. We were stimulating them. I was not thinking about it like that, but the game had to go and throw that context in there. Now I'm kind of turned on. What the hell's going on here? I got a funny feeling downstairs. Whoa! Oh, thanks. Thanks for cracking my angst, dudes. You guys are the best. Now, what are you guys called, you little pranksters? The Lumotaris. Obsessively protect the light they can only create as a group. So you're telling me these guys are noobs solo, but when they get together, they think they're cool because they make this light. They basically sound like a high school cliche click. Wow. Let's get some uh, let's get some light out of this rock right here, because that light's way cooler than their light. And let's see what this glyph has to say. So much light surrounds us, and so little of it is evident to us. It is part of every creature and every stone. It has always been with us, but somewhere along the way, we began sailing against the wind. That is a strong metaphor right there. Sailing against the wind, going against the grain. Defying the better morals of this world. It seems like we were going against the light. Seeking to destroy the very thing that keeps us alive. But why would we want to go against the light? I've loved everything about the light thus far in this game. Like, I don't know. I don't know why anybody would hate on that. Let's go ahead and get the obelisk while we're right here. Plug it in. Load her up. Chichinga. Very first light ball of the zone. Beautiful. Oh, I wonder if you have to. Okay, I think we got to use these for parkour purposes. So float. Oh, okay. Uh, I was holding. I was holding the float button before I started falling, and that seemed to not help very much. And float me up. Yo! Look at that. Already catching on. Already catching on to the uh, way it works. The gate's light has blinded my people. Even the staff bearers themselves have lost sight of the true path. Soon, this world will become but a memory. 
But why? I, dude, I am so curious to know why we are so obsessed with this gate, or at least why these glyphs, why this past light bearer, staff bearer, so obsessed with this gate and why they wanted to leave so bad, man. Or is there some secret dark twist that I am about to get slapped in the face with in this game? I'm not ready for that. I don't want this game to have a dark twist. It's beautiful and it needs to remain that way forever. <gasps> What do you have for us? Nice panorama. Get that cinematic view of the zone. There it is, full 360. Let's go ahead and uh, gauge how much we have here. So we're already at 50%. Um, it looks like there's only four lights and then I guess a few glyphs to collect. I think we've collected two glyphs so far, if I'm not mistaken, in this zone. Um, so probably one more of those and then some balls to grab or bees. Uh, so let's, uh, what's over here? I don't think there's anything, but I'm just going to confirm that there's not something like kind of hidden. We got one of these boys, which, uh, what, what even was their name? I don't know. They've got like the balloon heads, the blunties, blunty, blunty. Uh, we just got some light in the tree, but we don't really need any more considering we already got our, uh, obelisk. Got some of these dragonflies, the luma bees, if I'm not mistaken. Man, I'm really becoming a lore master in this game, remembering the name of all the creatures and stuff without even uh, having to think twice. I'd love to see it. Oh, we can get up here from here. Looks like uh, this is going to be activated later on. Potentially some teleporters here. How to move this over here? Also, pretty interesting. Oh, we gotta skate through these probably. Oh, that was a sick jump. He just naturally jumps by default? I didn't realize. Now we gotta go through this one. The real... Ow. Does one go through that? Hey, buddy. Got the little flying squirrel man. Dope, dope. Oh, maybe, maybe that's forward progression. Maybe we need to get all this stuff to be able to get over there. Or maybe... It's like we can... There's a lot of stuff. I'm, I'm overwhelmed with this zone right now, currently. There's a glyph right here. Let's grab this, and then... Oh, there's a teleporter over there. Okay. We'll just we'll just go over to that zone then next. In my search for freedom, I tethered myself to a false ideal. Losing sight of what lay in front of me. Clarity comes, but it comes too late. My pilgrimage must continue. Pilgrimage being uh, voyaging from region to region, from land to land, discovering new things, just being a traveler. Um, okay. I mean, I guess, is there is there like more of a sinister terminology for pilg pilgrim as well? Like a pilgrim is like somebody who comes and then overtakes and takes all the resources from land and then moves on or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm over, uh, over, uh, analyzing but float oh Dude, we barely got that one well that answers how that worked actually this is a completely separate puzzle than that stuff over there that was sick though I enjoyed that that was a super satisfying puzzle right there Hell yeah. Uh, oh, so we can use that to TP back over, and then we still gotta figure out how to get up there. Honestly, I didn't even see that orb, so we're at 71% now. I think there's two more orbs to grab in this zone. Mm -hmm. So what is the deal with this? I feel like I could maybe kind of like force or finesse my way up this rock right here a little bit if I really wanted to, but I feel like that's kind of not the intended route. Oh, do we gotta use? Oh, crap! Oh gosh! Okay, we gotta use the floaty boy. Oh shoot! Okay, here we go. Wish us luck. Uh. Oh. 
let me tell you, that was tense. That was a little bit tense right there. We did nail it. Regardless of being tense, we kind of pwned right there. Kind of owned. So that's going to activate something. <laughs> that's, that's all I got. How do we get back from here? Can I float? Can I float this? Yeah, I can. I gotta, I gotta remember the floating is a lot more like efficient than originally starts. Now, I think I could float from up there to, I, I feel like I could float from up there to make it. Huh. Actually, maybe I'm supposed to teleport up there. What does this do for me? Whoa! Oh, is that a teleporter? Wait, that's sick! Oh! So this thing goes around and activates different teleporters. Let me, let me watch. So there's a teleporter up there. Yo! That is insane! That is insanely cool. There's a teleporter way over there on that rock for some reason. Can't see what that would be useful for. Oh, it only goes around one time? Oh my gosh, you know what? Oh my gosh. I have. oh. Wow. This is sick. Okay, I see what's going on. So I have to chase that thing down. I gotta teleport, then surf, and then teleport again, and then surf. Yo! This is gonna be so satisfying holy uh what are we at we're at 85 percent in this area uh did i get all the orbies now there's still one orb missing for me which is right there which we uh, able to get that thing pretty easily dude oh my okay i think that's the final puzzle let me um let me actually get that orb over there i think i can Use these floaties to get there. Probably. Alright, we'll go up here. Yeah, we'll we'll grab this and then we'll do that. Cause I think I think that's like the final puzzle is doing that whole thing. So I kinda wanna grab this last item here. Hey, there we go. Heights master. The pool yang heights complete. Perfect. Uh, and then I think we've discovered all the creatures here. The Blue Varus and the Lumataris, I believe, are the only new things. <laughs> Just had to hear that sound one last time. Well, let's go ahead and do this. So we got like a 360 puzzle that we got to do here. So this this is going to be sick. I'm, I'm excited to do this. This is going to be really satisfying and fun. And I can't wait. So let's do it here. Let's activate this. And we gotta teleport, TP, TP, and then we gotta surf. So we gotta use this to keep up and activate all these. We're gonna hit that, then teleport, and we're gonna keep surfing. Dude, how badass. Oh, the timing is impeccable too. Then we gotta TP, and we gotta float on this one. Oh, please. Oh my God, and I activated this teleporter. That was insane. That was dope. What a way to exit the zone, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. That was amazing. That was so sick. I, I literally have a smile on my face from that. Maybe that makes me a fat nerd for smiling at something so simplistic in a game. But, oh. That was so cool. It was so awesomely designed. Loved that so much right there. Oh my gosh. Okay, I can't get over it. I can't get over it, dude. That was sick. <laughs> Anyways. Woo! I'm gonna float on down here. Activate that. Activate this. We're gonna climb. Please don't fall. Please don't fall me. Wait. I have not skipped my little buddy old pal one time. I will show him all the respect he deserves. Look how happy he is. I think we're getting close to healing him. Wait, is he like out? Oh, does he just stay with us now? He is ours. We are not his follower. He is now our follower. 
Not in a bad way, though. Like, we, we kind of like his... Um, uh, I, don't, I don't know how to put it, but yeah. Anyways, let's hover down through this, and I should probably make a teleporter for us. All right. Do some sick stuff. Bam. Bam. There we go. Here we go. So... Cutscene? <gasps> what is... This thing looks so magnificent. Oh my gosh. Yo. The Dokalur. The Dokalur. Early carvings of the staff bearers show them with these beings riding in harmony, but they have been missing for countless generations. Well, missing no more. We have found, we have found him and we've brought him home. The Doka Lure. I think this is the fifth of the legendary animals. I wonder if, I wonder if this is the final legendary. I wonder if there's any more. Anyways, let's hop on his back and see where he has to take us. This thing is so cool, man. It's like a... It makes me think of like a griffin, but... Just... It makes me think of a dratini. Pokemon, it's got like the antlers. It's just... I, I can't even put my... It's like a serpent in the sea, but of the sky. I'm gonna call this thing literally a sky serpent. That is the best way I could describe this. And I ain't even mad. What are those? Look at them! These things are adorable as well. How sick, dude. Oh my god, there's, there's one of the other legendaries. I forget what it was, but I think that one only rarely shows itself. Whenever you're looking for it, it doesn't show up, but then it just shows up when it wants to. What are those? What are these creatures? I need to know. This is insane. Oh, we're gonna get this sick pan the sick cinematic angles we roll on in here? Yes. I don't want to dismount. I want to ride this thing forever. The Exalted rode the fifth legendary animal. There it is, legendary animal number five. My question is, is there going to be one more? Is there one end all be all of the legendary animals? Or is there just a top five big dogs in the food chain of rare creatures in this game. That is what I am curious about. Anywho, ladies and gentlemen, I think, uh, I think this is probably a good time to wrap this one up here. Uh, we got a checkpoint. We just rode an animal. I think there's another zone ahead. So we will, uh, not accidentally spoil it this time around like we uh, did in the other one and uh we'll wrap things up right here so uh i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did be sure to leave a like and a comment uh let me know down below what you guys liked about the video what you think i could improve and or uh, just anything else maybe other games that you'd be interested in seeing me play through for the xbox for the game pass for series x whatever you are interested in um yeah until the next time, ladies and gentlemen, have a good one, and I will see you in the next video.